Hello, I'm Steve Venner, G0TAN. I provide technical and engineering support here at Martin Lynch's in Staines. Today I'm going to talk to you about Yesu's lovely little radio, the FT-DX3000. I'm going to tell you about some of the features, some of the options and, more, more importantly, why I particularly like this radio. This lovely little radio, it covers 160 meters all the way up to 6 meters. It doesn't do 5 megs as standard, uh, but we can easily modify that for you if you so desire. Receive side, it does everything from 30 kilohertz all the way up to 56 megahertz, which is great. All the normal modes are covered, including RITI and PSK31, some data modes there for you. What else does it do? Power output. 5 watts to 100 watts continuous, so you can adjust that. We have a 9 meg IF output on the back, and if you want, you can connect the Yesu's MTU units if you're working in a particularly noisy environment. I'm sure a few of you are going to be asking what the difference is between the 3000 and the FTDX1200. Well, basically, on the 3000, there are things that you get, such as USB connectivity, you get the FFT1 as fitted as standard. You also get included in the package the FH2 keypad, so if you're into contesting things like that, it's a very little useful addition, which you don't have to buy. Besides those, um, there are the receiver architecture. is slightly different in the 3000 to compared with the 1200. So, I've given you an overview of the various features and functions of the radio. Um, I'd like to say a bit about why I really like this radio. There's basically four, four main reasons. Uh, the first is the ease of use. Um, the front panel is so well laid out, um, the menu system is very easy. It just makes the whole radio a pleasure to use. Second is the, the speaker on the top. Um, what they've done I don't know, but basically it's a very warm sounding audio. It's very clear, very crisp, but it, it's almost old fashioned. You know, some of the older radios, things like that. Um, the third is the compact size. Uh, given the performance of this radio, the, the size of it compared with other radios, larger radios, it, you know, you need a, some, sometimes you need a really large desk to put them on. This can actually fit in something quite reasonably space. You don't need a large landscape, a large uh, um, area to put them on, large desk size. Um, and the other thing which applies generally to Yesu radios, they're really good value for money as well. You get, for the cost of this radio, you get an awful lot of bang for the buck, I think is... Uh, the, the American-ism. Uh, what I'm going to do next is the, some of the things that I spoke about earlier on I'm going to show you a little bit more in detail. So here's the main radio I'm just going to go over very quickly some of the key features of the radio so you can see how easy it is to operate which is one of the reasons why I actually quite like it um, compared with some of the radios out there. This, Yes it's menu driven but it's so easy to use. Right so on the main display um, there are four displays that you can have here. This is probably one of the most common ones that you will come across. Uh, it shows the receive signal strength up on the top left hand side. Top right hand side you have the settings for the contour width, notch and shift positions. You have a little row of icons along the middle which represent the state of the buttons down here such as uh, IPO, the attenuator, AGC etc. And you have the spectrum uh, frequency spectrum along the bottom. So that's the main main display there. Um, along the bottom you have the various MOX, uh, notch filter switches, uh, power controls, AF and RF gain, things like that. On the right hand side of the display you have uh, the ability to change some of the features um, which I'll go into in a short while. Uh, specifically if you go into the menu driven, which I was saying one of the reasons why I like this radio so it's so easy to use, if I press the menu button you can see now that you can see all of the different menu settings. It's so easy. What you do if you want to change the 6 meter SSB slope that we have here, we select it, it gets highlighted, you change it, uh, sleep, gentle, steep or gentle, whatever you like to do, select that, great, and it's all done. Uh, you go back and you go back to your waterfall display. On the waterfall itself you can change to have it as either other functionality for vo uh, Vox, Kia, processor, uh, mic equalization. You press it again, you get back to the waterfall. If you press and hold it, it makes a beep. Again, press it again, you get a full screen display. 
so it's entirely up to you so it's fairly customizable okay so on the right hand side of the display you have the main VFO tuning knob and right above that you have the main frequency display and this is one of the main differences between this radio and the 1200 on the 1200 the frequency display is on the main TFT display to the right of this you have all the band change buttons uh, there you can enter the, all, all of the bands and if you want to do 5 megs you just press the enter button type in the frequency press enter and away you go to the lower right you have, have the sub VFO or clarifier it's a dual mode uh, control um, all the rest are fairly self explanatory and that's really about it and as I said this is one of the main reasons why I like this radio it's just very nicely laid out um, it's very easy to use um, and uh, it's just, just great so that was a very very brief overview of the FTDX3000. We didn't want to go too much into depth on all the controls and the buttons and things like that because you can get that information elsewhere, you can download the manual, you can look at other YouTube videos. It was more of um, an impression, my impression of this radio, why I like it. Um, I would definitely get one of these as my next radio. Um, I just it, It's just so nice to use, uh, say with the audio quality that I mentioned before. Um, the compact size, the basically the, the, the cost effective. The Yesu products are always built to good quality. They're always very, very well priced in the marketplace and things like that. And the, the 3000 is no exception. If you feel that you want one of these, you want some more information, um, just go to our website, hamradio.co.uk, get the current prices on there. And if you get one of these, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And thank you for watching.